The Lost Treasure of the Knights Templar Chapter 1 The Mysterious Manuscript One sunny afternoon, three best friends, Axel, Lara, and Max, all ten years old, were playing in Axel's attic. The attic was a treasure trove of old trunks, dusty books, and forgotten relics from the past. They loved to pretend they were brave adventurers on daring quests, exploring far-off lands and discovering hidden secrets. As they rummaged through the attic, Axel's hand brushed against something unusual. It was an ancient, yellowed manuscript, hidden beneath a pile of old newspapers. His heart skipped a beat as he carefully pulled it out, trying not to tear the fragile document. Look at this! Axel exclaimed holding up the manuscript for his friends to see. Lara and Max quickly gathered around, their eyes wide with curiosity. Axel gently opened the manuscript, revealing pages filled with elaborate drawings and mysterious symbols. They pored over the text, trying to make sense of it. As they read, their excitement grew. The manuscript spoke of a lost treasure hidden by the Knights Templar in France. It told of a hoard of golden jewels, protected by riddles and ancient traps, waiting to be discovered by those brave enough to seek it. Their eyes sparkled with excitement at the thought of such an adventure. Let's find this treasure, Lara said, her voice full of determination. But how? Max asked, furrowing his brow. Axel pointed to the last page of the manuscript which showed a detailed map leading to a medieval castle in France. This is our starting point, he said. We just need to follow the map. With a plan in mind and hearts full of excitement, the trio decided to embark on a real adventure. They packed their backpacks with essentials, grabbed their map, and set off on their journey, ready to uncover the secrets of the Knights Templar and find the lost treasure. Chapter 2. The Enchanted Castle After a long journey, Axel, Lara, and Max arrived at the Enchanted Castle. The sight before them was breathtaking. The castle was immense, with towering, crumbling spires reaching toward the sky. Vines had crept up its stone walls, weaving intricate patterns like nature's own tapestry. It looked just like the castles in their favorite stories, a place where magic and mystery surely awaited. This is it, Axel whispered, his voice filled with awe and excitement. The first clue must be inside. They approached the massive wooden doors, which groaned in protest as they pushed them open. Inside, the air was cool and musty, filled with the scent of old stone and forgotten secrets. Their footsteps echoed eerily through the empty halls as they ventured deeper into the castle. They explored room after room, marveling at the old suits of armor standing sentinel, dusty paintings depicting noble knights and fair maidens, and even discovering secret passages hidden behind heavy tapestries. Every corner seemed to whisper of long-lost tales and ancient legends. In one particularly grand room, Lined with tall bookshelves, Max noticed a bookshelf that seemed out of place. He gave it a gentle push, and to their amazement, it swung open, revealing a hidden chamber. Inside, on a pedestal, sat a small, ornate wooden box. Lara's hands trembled with excitement as she carefully opened the box. Inside was a rolled-up scroll, tied with a faded ribbon. She untied it and unrolled the parchment. It's a riddle, she exclaimed, her eyes sparkling with curiosity. They gathered around as she read the riddle out loud. It spoke of shadows and secrets, pointing them to a hidden crypt beneath the castle. The thrill of discovery surged through them, and with renewed excitement, they hurried off to find the next clue, their adventure in the enchanted castle just beginning. Chapter 3. The Crypt of Mysteries The entrance to the crypt was cleverly hidden behind an old, 
dusty tapestry depicting a scene of knights in battle. Axel, Lara, and Max stared at the tapestry, their hearts pounding with anticipation. Lara gently pulled it aside, revealing a narrow staircase descending into darkness. The staircase leading down was dark and spooky, the kind of place that would send shivers down most people's spines. But the kids were too excited to be scared. They shared a determined look, then began tiptoeing down the stairs, holding their breath in anticipation. At the bottom, they were met with a large stone door, covered in strange, cryptic symbols. The air was cool and damp, filled with the scent of earth and stone. Max, who loved puzzles and riddles, stepped forward with a gleam in his eye. He examined the symbols, running his fingers over the carvings, and began to decode the puzzle. After what felt like an eternity, the symbols began to make sense. Max pressed the correct sequence of stones, and with a loud creak, the door slowly swung open. The crypt beyond was dimly lit by shafts of light filtering through cracks in the ceiling, revealing ancient treasures scattered around, golden coins, jeweled goblets, and intricately crafted artifacts. In the center of the crypt stood a massive stone sarcophagus, covered in dust and cobwebs. Lara approached it cautiously and noticed an inscription carved into its surface. It's another riddle, she said her voice echoing in the cavernous space. They gathered around and read the riddle together, piecing together its meaning. The riddle spoke of a forest filled with whispers and shadows, leading them to their next destination. Inside the sarcophagus, they found a small, golden key, their next clue. The forest of whispers is our next stop, Max declared, holding up the key. With their spirits high and a new sense of purpose, they knew their adventure was far from over. The crypt had revealed its secrets, and now the forest awaited. Chapter 4 The Forest of Whispers The Forest of Whispers was a place out of a dream, filled with magic and mystery. Tall, ancient trees towered over Axel, Lara, and Max as they ventured deeper into the forest. The air was thick with the sound of whispering leaves, as if the forest itself was alive and speaking to them. It was both eerie and enchanting, making every step feel like part of an unfolding story. The twisting paths were challenging to navigate, but the trio kept their spirits high. They clutched their map tightly, following its directions with determination. Every now and then, they paused to listen to the whispers, which seemed to guide them forward, urging them deeper into the heart of the forest. After what felt like hours of navigating the labyrinthine paths, they emerged into a small clearing bathed in dappled sunlight. In the center of the clearing stood an ancient stone altar, its surface covered in thick, green moss. The whispers grew louder as they approached, as if encouraging them to uncover the secrets hidden within. Axel stepped forward, holding the golden key they had found in the crypt. He carefully inserted it into a hidden compartment on the side of the altar. With a soft click, the compartment opened, revealing a beautifully crafted map inside. The final clue! Axel exclaimed, his eyes shining with excitement. They gathered around the map, studying its intricate details. It showed the way to a hidden chamber beneath an old chapel, the supposed resting place of the Knights Templar's lost treasure. Their hearts pounded with anticipation as they realized they were close to the end of their quest. With renewed energy, they set off to find the old chapel, the map leading them through the last leg of their adventure. The forest seemed to whisper words of encouragement, as if it, too, was eager for them to succeed. They knew that their greatest adventure was just beginning, and with each step, they grew more determined to uncover the treasure and the secrets it held.